Thanh Mẹ chào các bạn đến với chương trình The Nail Tip Show. Hello everyone, welcome to the show. Today I'll be sharing with you how to achieve a glitter nail look. Um, the reason I'm gonna do this video because um, with the glitter nails, I feel like um, it's easy to break if you don't have enough foundation um, to start out with. So today I'm sharing with you uh, what kind of tips you need to peel a glitter nail. À, hôm nay em sẽ chia sẻ với các bạn một cái technique làm cái glitter nail nhưng nếu mà các bạn có từng làm nail á, thì à, hay là các bạn mới làm nail á, thì các bạn không có để ý là lúc mình đắp cái nail cái glitter nail á, mình không có đắp uh, cái foundation cho cái móng nó, nó chắc á, thì nó rất là dễ trễ bị gãy nên hôm nay em sẽ chia sẻ những cái uh, tips uh, cho các bạn biết làm sao đắp một cái móng mà giữ được lâu dài và bền So let's get started. Um, bắt đầu là em đã prep cái móng này rồi. Nếu mà các bạn muốn coi cái video mà em prep thì sẽ có cái link bên trong cái description box ha. So I already prepped the nail, so now I'm just gonna go in with the form. Uh, I don't need that length, so I'm gonna tear that part off. Then I'm gonna take this part, làm form. Các bạn đừng có dục cái này, các bạn bỏ cái hình sau đó, để cho cái form nó cái form nó chắc hơn. So then I'm gonna tear that part off and roll, roll it and then I'm gonna try, actually I'm gonna pinch this first. This is just my usual form application, so there's a video for that if you wanna watch that. There's a link in the description box. So then I'm just gonna tuck the form in the middle and then see slowly flip it around. See if it is straight. Make sure you line up from the knuckle and that to the point. I'm gonna continue with the ballerina nail shape. So I'm gonna pinch that. So that's it. And I have the form on. Then I'm gonna go in with the a dehydrator. And so bây giờ bỏ cái dehydrator vô lên. Ok, bây giờ em sẽ bỏ cái acid free primer My usual prepping part of the nail So to start off, I'm gonna use um, Koopa Divinity uh, Clear Powder And then I also use the Natural Powder And then I'm gonna use this uh, Triptych Powder Which is um, different than the D Divinity Structure Powder because with this triptych powder, you can use it for dipping, um, any acrylic application, and also 3D nail art. And this color is called Rule. Uh, and I'm gonna pair it with this random glitter. I love this glitter a lot because these two um, paired together, it looks really nice. And the reason I'm sharing uh, with you today part of it because I wanna share with you this combo together, you can pair with any color you want. And second, because when you apply um, a glitter nail, it's very important you want to give it a good foundation. Otherwise, because the glitter um, doesn't hold the nail together as strong, so you want to start with a really good base. So by doing that, I'm going to start with the natural because Um, I find that you can start with clear as well, but the reason I picked natural because it's almost has a like a, a like a wider base to it. So when you apply the glitter on, um, let's just say you don't apply it all the way, you can still have that nice, uh, almost like an off-white uh, undertone. It still um, reflect on the glitter very nicely. So with that, um, and thường thường làm glitter, I always pair with either off-white um, you could pair with clear but em thì thích nếu mà thường thường mình dùng cái glitter mà mình nó trắng á, thì mình có cái trắng base almost like a off-white base á, thì cái glitter nó sẽ sáng hơn với lại nếu mà mình làm dark á, thì you want to pair with either really dark blue or black uh, acrylic that way your glitter will uh, kind of give a nice base to it so bây giờ em bắt đầu ha em sẽ dùng một cái um, Natural powder. Okay, so giống như em nói á, là mình dùng cái, cái glitter này nó cũng hơi sáng. So you could pair with white, but today em pair with natural. So to go in with a medium bead and sẽ bỏ cái ngay cái chỗ uh, free edge trước ha. 
bắt đầu em sẽ dùng cái cap cái uh, dùng cái body the brush dẹp nó cái bột xuống to the length that I want so basically I'm using the body of the brush and keep my brush um, slightly wet or moist and like uh, and then slightly press that bead down to the shape that I want so mình muốn ballerina nail shape thì mình angle cái, cái, cái brush nó vô taper that angle that in so it becomes ballerina nail shape this is very important too when you um, sculpt a nail press the bead into the shape that you want so that way you don't waste a lot of time shaping that's another way of cutting down the service time so once that established um, I'm gonna take another small bead uh, almost medium actually because I'm gonna start from the cuticle area press that lightly and then press it down to entire nail you want to keep the nail thin because you don't want it too thick because later you could encapsulate that with a clear powder and then you also have another layer of glitter so you don't want to build that too thin too thick I mean so bây giờ mình làm cho nó mịn nó xuống ha and then đắp không có dày quá sau đó bây giờ em sẽ làm Cái bột này nó có, uh, cái glitter này nó có bột sẵn rồi, so I don't have to mix with the clear powder. So this color, it comes with glitter and mix it in with um, clear powder, so you don't have to mix anything. You can just go in straight with your monomer and go in. So and Z, pick up fairly small, not too big, and then what I'm going to do is feather that down and then feather that up. I'm gonna almost give like a gradient effect to this nail, so, and just feather that up. See, with this look, you can feather that. See, with just a little bit of glitter, you don't really need a lot. See, um, I wanna show you this too. That's the whole idea, is that when you give it a good base, you don't really need a lot of glitter because this glitter is so fine and pigmented that you don't really use a lot so then that way you don't use a lot of glitter so your nail has a base foundation then a little bit of glitter, glitter then you cap it on with clear that's how the nail stay on um, nice and strong so with that I'm gonna build this and a little bit at the tip just to show to give a full look on the tip and make sure you have everywhere on the sides, both sides. Make sure gradient how you want it. Okay, and make sure you clean the sides so you don't have to shape too much later. So then I'm gonna go in with a little bit clear powder because this chunk glitter right here it doesn't have any um, powder to it so I'm gonna use clear powder to mix this in I'm gonna pick up a nice um, small bead of clear powder and I'm just gonna press that in I love this combo mixed together it's just so pretty so there it is so I, I feel like I need a little bit more then I pick up a little bit more clear powder and then just press that in you don't need a lot and then I'm gonna wait for a few minutes and like and then I'm gonna pinch so after like about three to four minutes then I'm gonna pinch you want to pinch that free edge and slowly pressing down and 
sau khi mình pinch nó rồi đó after you pinch then I'm gonna go in and apply a medium side bead of clear and gonna press that into a cuticle area and slowly press down and encapsulate as much as you can and then just add on until you encapsulate entire nail then move, you move on in the salon of course you move on to the next nail sau khi cái móng nó khô bây giờ em sẽ dựa, dùng cái file and dũ hai cái bên hông trước so I'm just gonna go in with a file and angle it and give it a ballerina nail shape so you want to keep the file straight and angle it taper it in a, the free edge a little bit to give that ballerina nail shape and you would do the same thing with the other side and then to thin it down the bottom you angle it you lower it and just go straight up so by doing this you give it like a thinner look angle it about 30 degrees and just contour the sides and you do the same thing with this side once I'm done with that I'm gonna go in with a medium cup I did I'm gonna use it about 20,000 RPM and then first thing I do is kind of contour the cuticle area first I'm not going that tight yet because I'm just want to establish the shape so let's just keep as you can tell, I'm not shaving that much off because I just want to contour the, the shape. See if I need any um, thin out the sides. For a long nail, it's better to go up and down like this. And then now to go tighter on the cuticle area, I'm just gonna place the cup a bit paler to the nail and slowly goes around the cuticle area. And then I'm gonna shape it lightly now. And then just that I'm gonna go back with the shaper buffer I'm just gonna lightly shape that and make it look a lot a little bit softer not as sharp and contour the sides keep doing that until you get you refine the shape. Sau khi các em em dùa cái cup bài bit rồi đó, bây giờ em muốn làm cho nó mịn lại. Tại hồi lấy mình lấy cái file này á, thì nó nó, nó là um, 100 nên nó nó hơi rough. Thì bây giờ em sẽ làm cái này lại cho nó mịn lại chút xíu. Làm vậy á, thì tí nó mình có khách á, nó nó không có sharp, nó không có nó không có vướng vô của nào hay là tóc hay là của thì mình muốn dùng cái này á, cho nó nó mịn lại mấy cái góc với lại mình xếp nó lại sơ sơ. So to finish cái cái móng tay này, to finish it off, I'm gonna go back to my sanding band that I prepped her nail with. I'm just gonna refine the shape. I'm gonna use about 8,000 RPM, and I'm just gonna go tighter and closer to the cuticle area, contour that cuticle area because I'm go using very low speed. I'm not hurting her at all. And that way I can go tight and flush out that cuticle area. So then I'm just gonna contour that entire body. 
this way it's nice and rounded and contoured các bạn dùng cái sanding pen này á, thì các bạn không có cần buff là tại vì cái quýt này nó, nó giống như cái buffing uh, uh, quýt rồi tại em đã dùng cái này làm um, uh, prepping cho cái móng thì by the time mình đơn with prepping đó là cái quýt nó cũng mềm rồi rồi mình làm cái này mình buff luôn các làm vậy thì các bạn khỏi cần waste cái buffer đó làm vậy cái móng nó contour sau khi các bạn dùng cái sanding band làm cái contour cái shape thì nó rất là ra đẹp rất là đẹp sau đó các bạn chỉ cần dust it off thì thông thường thì mình sẽ mời người khách đi rửa tay and just spray it with a cleanser wipe it off with a clean cloth so after you clean it up you can see the shape is very nice because even though um, you use glitter but I don't know if you can tell because with the form it, it gives you a nice found, um, structure but the the nail is very sturdy and strong because you give it a nice base then you just um, put it a very thin coat of glitters on it and then you cap it with clear powder so with that base and that clear powder that will keep your nail uh, nice and strong so các bạn có thấy uh, cái móng này nó, cái, cái structure rất là đẹp tại vì cái cái tuy rằng cái glitter mình uh, mình đắp glitter nhưng mà mình không có dùng nhiều tại cái bột cái, cái mình phải có cái foundation nữa cho nó chắc và nó dưỡng chắc á, thì mình bỏ glitter lên với mình cap lên cái clear thì nó sẽ giữ cái móng chắc và bền sau đây em chỉ em chỉ cần đắp cái uh, UV top coat với LED cái này là UV với LED top coat and no wipe so em chỉ cần bỏ một cái coat lên uh, see as you can tell it's very nice and clear and the glitter is very pretty And like I said, with this look, you can pair with any color you, uh, that you want. Very nice for the holiday. So after that, you just want to put in the LED lamp or UV lamp for two minutes, LED for one minute. Sau khi em kia nó một một phút với cái đèn LED, cái đó là xong hoàn tất cái 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 step này của mình. Bây giờ em chỉ bỏ cái cuticle lên thôi. So after you cure for one minute. Uh, with the LED lamp, you just there's no need to wipe, and you just top it off with a nice Harmony cuticle from Cooper, oh, and then that's it. That is it. Look how pretty that is. Um, so, like I said, you could pair. I love this uh, combination of these glitters together. I just find that it's very easy to use, and you can pair with any use it an, as an accent to any. Um, color combo I just happened to do mine and I had a lot of requests from it um, so this is why I want to do this video and share with you how to build a glitter nail that stays that stays on for like two three weeks without any problem I guess the key here is just to build a great foundation before you embed it with glitters and then of course you want to encapsulate that with the clear powder and cũng mong những giây phút vừa qua các bạn cũng học hỏi thêm dài cái thêm uh, đạn để làm cái glitter nail này uh, giống như em nói sơ sơ lại là muốn mỗi lần các bạn mà uh, đắp bột nhất là với glitter tại glitter nó không có uh, chắc tại bột đó, cái glitter mình mà đắp lên đó, thì nó sẽ rất là mỏng nó không có dính với nhau thì những cái móng tay mà mình, mình không có đắp kỹ đó, thì nó sẽ rất là bị rất là dễ bị gãy nên em đã chỉ cách cho các bạn làm cách đắp kiểu này thì sẽ cái móng nó sẽ giữ chắc và bền lâu hơn. Uh, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you like the video. If you enjoy this, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Cảm ơn các bạn. Bye.